I've always identified as a writer, even when I accidentally became a curator at the Art Gallery of Ontario after freelancing as a full-time art critic for eight years in the Toronto art community. Becoming a curator set off an identity crisis. I'm a curator, but also a critic, I would say, for many years. Finally, I acknowledge to myself, yes, I am a curator, but for whom writing leads. My overarching aim has been to produce some form of a history of contemporary Toronto art, while at the same time being involved with Canadian and international art in general. In the early years, I persuaded myself and others believed that I was a French structuralist, critically objective, conceptually driven, and theory-based. But when I look back at my days at the power plant after I left the AGO, I think rather that I was a marginalist of sorts, interested in transgressive art and outsiders who were not considered part of the accepted mainstream. At the Art Gallery of York University, my writing took a decided turn in which, apparently, I didn't have much say. This is when I began to write books, not just catalogues. I believe that a book must operate according to the same principles as the artwork it discusses. Thus, I look for its resources in genres of writing, be they fictional or philosophical. Philosophically, I'm interested in the invention of concepts, in discovering the operative concepts by which a work functions, which the artist may not even realize. Could I know in this process that the work revealed me as much as I uncovered its hidden mechanisms? And so, while only a repetition, writing is a diverging, dissenting, and deviant version of the artwork it fully respects. <laughs>